ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my review for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Now, got to show off my cool popcorn bucket. We get the cup, we get the Slimer. She was going to give me the little, the little remote control trap. I was like, nay! I need the Slimer. They also had Stay Puff and they had the sign. I was like, no, I need the Slimer because the Slimer is dope. This is the cup. This is the Bucketo. Shows the bad guy. Shows Ecto-1. Very, very dope. It will look good on the wall. Hell, I may even put those in like when I build my theater. One thing I do want to say, everybody's great in this film. They're fun. You are never going to recreate Ghostbusters 1 and 2 from the 80s. It's never going to happen. You should never try to do the same things. But you should also have a story that kind of sticks the landing. There are a couple of things wrong with this movie, but there's a lot of things that are right about this movie. I want to see the new Ghostbusting team teaming up with the old Ghostbusting team. Like, I want to see that. They should be passing it down to the new team. I don't want to see the reluctance. I don't want to see Winston be telling Ray to be like, hey, you know, go be on a beach or somewhere like that. No. They need to be there teaching them and making them better that way we're going from the team that was learning on the fly to the team that saved the world and now is learning and you kind of get that but you kind of still get those tropes of oh uh, reluctance the help except for peter peter's all about it man i love bill murray and he was just all about it in this movie so we have paul rudd we have carrie coon we have Finn Wolfhard, we have McKenna Grace, Camille Nanjahani, Patton Aldworth, Celeste O'Connell, coming off of Madam Webb, uh, Logan Kim, uh, Bill Murray, Dan Aykroyd, Ernie Hudson, Annie Potts. We have James Astard coming into this. And it seems like a bloated cast, but they're used when they're needed. One of the big things about this movie that I was really upset with is they did the ghost thing again with McKenna Grace's character that she sees a ghost. I think they should not have done that whatsoever. They could have used a different mechanic uh, for to get her where she needed to be in this movie. I felt using Egon's ghost in Afterlife, that's it. We should have never saw another ghost. There should have been no ghostly interactions with any of the characters beyond that because that was the moment and I feel her interacting with another ghost kind of cheapens what they did with Egon's character in Afterlife. I do feel the main bad guy in this was really cool, very interesting. Camille Nanjiani did not need to be in this movie whatsoever. Uh, some of the joking went a little too far and but it was there we get the we get ecto one we get ecto c we get we get the cool things hell the mayor is dickless this man has no dick he's in this he's in this film playing the guy who wants to shut them down and it's cool and like slimer has a bigger role in this movie and I, i'm I, man i'm falling in love with the mini stay puffs because it is so crazy and messed up what they do to those like there's a scene in the post credit scene which again the post credit scene is kind of dumb unless they're setting up for the next movie where he literally they take a, a lighter from uh they steal a truck it's a stay puff marshmallow truck they hijack the truck and he takes a cigarette lighter from the truck which trucks cars don't have cigarette lighters anymore and like burns his face and then kind of turns to the king. He kind of says, it's messed up, man, what they do to these things. But like the feel is there. They just need to hone back some things. We get a, we get a flashback to a thing that happened in New York, which we really didn't need quite honestly. Like I like that we didn't get any flashbacks in the original two movies. 
that we just get to the points and I did, we didn't need a flashback. In and I, I know this seems like I'm just shitting on this movie. I'm really not. I'm just pointing out the things that I didn't like in the movie. But the overall movie, I thoroughly enjoyed. I love Ghostbusters. I want more Ghostbusters movies. But I want to see everybody come back. I want to see Rick Moranis come back. I want to see um, Sigourney Weaver come back. Annie Potts and Rick Moranis definitely had a kid. And we know that Sigourney Weaver had a kid. So where are those characters? Like, you have stuff you can build off of and not necessarily rely on the other cast because, I mean, Rick, Rick Moranis only had that one, that one point where he suited up. But... Like, Sigourney Weaver never did. Maybe Sigourney Weaver's doing something that's in the ghost realm now that could be useful to the team and her son's like, I want to get into that. And maybe maybe, maybe that could be a thing. Like, I want to see that going forward. Have those characters in the movies, like, there. But let's let's see some other characters that were from the original Ghostbusters movies. Uh, I love it. There's a lot of great little, little uh, snippets in here. They show the dude who came up with the Ghostbusters theme. He's in here. Uh, they show the toys um, that they came out with. And it was great. And it was awesome. I love this movie. I want more Ghostbusters. Give me more Ghostbusters. Because just like Paul Rudd said, man, Busta makes me feel good. Just makes me feel good. Where does this lie on my five-star review scale? The story is a 3.5. The cinematography is a 3. The characters are a 4. The design is beautiful, is a 4, which brings our total to 3.625. Let me know down below, guys. Did you like Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire? I would sure love to have a conversation with you just... Type it away and let's get into this, baby. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, help us grow in 2024. I'd sure appreciate it. And I will see you in my next review. Bye.